Hey, I'm Kat Von D, and today I am going to do a little tutorial for you on contouring, introducing to you my new shade and light contour palette. For the sake of the tutorial, I've contoured my nose, and I'll take you through the step-by-step -step on some of the tricks that you can use if you feel like your nose needs a little bit of slimming or shaping. There's so many neat things that you can do using shade and light. First things first, let's prep our face. I'm gonna use my Locket Featherweight Primer for this. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite Locket Tattoo Foundation and the stippling brush and just apply my shade throughout my whole face. And now it's time to blend. And now it's time to contour. I tend to find myself using the shades Lucid and Somber most of the time when I'm contouring. And then when I wanna do a little bit more extreme looks, I'll dip into the deeper shades. For this look, you know, I really just want it to be like more of a casual contour tutorial, something that you can wear on a daily basis. So I'm gonna to stick to the lighter shades. Using my fingers, I'm gonna see where my cheekbones actually start. Then I'll know where to lay the groundwork for my contouring. I have kind of like a chubby round face, so for contouring, you know, I really ultimately want to add a lot of depth, just focus on the hollows of my cheek. My goal is definitely to create a soft and quote unquote natural look. Don't get me wrong, I love my face, I'm totally fine with it. Proportion wise, I kind of have a lot of empty space from the bottom of my cheeks down to my jawline, so I want to add kind of like a slimming effect to this look. Using the shade side of my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and generously sweep the darker tones alongside my jaw. I'm gonna bring it all the way under my chin. And for somebody as pasty white as myself, this contour palette is awesome because these tones, they're really warm and still manage to come off very natural, which I love. So you kind of get that healthy glow right away. All right, let's go back and blend away any areas that we may have overworked a little bit. I'm gonna add some highlight just above my lips and then the borders of my jaw. These are the areas that I am going to contour for you. I'm gonna do the sides of my nose, the tip of my nose, and underneath the tip of my nose. Using this eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Somber and add this shade to the bottom underside of the tip of my nose. Then I'm gonna bring a little bit above that. This is something that works really great if you have a bulbous shaped nose because you can definitely do the optical illusion of making your nose appear a tad bit smaller and a little bit more defined. And then let's move on to the sides. Adding a tad bit because we're gonna really focus on blending this and making this soft and realistic. This kind of application will definitely help add definition and slimming of the nose. For those of you who have like a super narrow bridge of your nose, I definitely do not recommend contouring where it meets your eyebrows just because it'll only make it more defined. So I'm gonna use a fluffy blending brush that I would normally use for like eyeshadow or highlights on my eyeshadow. Basically blend out what I put on. This may take a little while, so do whatever it takes to make it blend. Cool, so now that we've got the contouring section done, I'm gonna go ahead and generously apply some highlighting to my nose, starting at the top of the bridge all the way to the tip. There's a few areas that I may have gone a little too dark, so let's go in there and just add a little bit of the highlights, see how that blends out. Sure enough, very lovely. If you wanna add a little bit of depth to your eyes, extend that line across your eyelids and that will achieve depth. I'm definitely not gonna be contouring my forehead. I have a really small forehead, actually. I don't want to add any more darkness to it because it'll only make it look smaller. I already had my eyes done, so let's just add some lips. And we're done. Obviously, this is a very soft and subtle and semi-natural look. This palette is capable of way more extreme approaches, so don't be scared if you do wanna get more theatrical features. You can definitely take it there if you want to. Awesome, so there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm hoping that it is helpful to you in whichever way you choose to use it and I really can't wait to see what you guys come up with by using the Shade & Light Contour Palette.